हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल जावा फॉर बिगनर्स फ्रॉम गो फॉर ई लर्निंग इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी अबाउट वेरिएबल्स व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर जावा प्रोग्रामिंग सो लेट्स डिस्कस वेरिएबल्स बिफोर टू स्टार्ट आवर जावा प्रोग्रामिंग एज वी नो दैट वेरिएबल्स आर यूजली स्टोर्ड इन रैम रैंडम एक्सेस मेमोरी सो it will store either on the heap memory or on the stack memory all global variables will usually store in the heap memory and all variables declared within a method or function usually stored in the stack stack and heap are both ram just different locations now we'll discuss what is a variable variable is name of reserved area allocated in memory in other words it is a name of memory location in which the information would be stored and variables in the program need to perform two steps first is variable declaration and after declaration we need to do variable initialization so what we have to do in variable declaration to declare a variable you must specify the data type and give the variable a unique name then based on the data type of a variable the operating system allocates memory and decide what can be stored in the reserve memory therefore by assigning different data types of variables you can store integers decimals or characters in these variables and in variable initialization you must assign it a valid value and the value is the actual data that is going to be stored and a particular variable can only store one type of information so here variable name count which is holding a integer type value 10 there are three kinds of variables in java these are local variables instance variables and class static variables first we will discuss about local variables what are the local variables local variables are declared in methods constructors or in blocks local variables are visible only within the declared method constructor or in a block means local variables are created when the method constructor or block is entered and then the variable will be destroyed once it exit the method constructor or blocks local variables don't get a default value hence local variable should be declared and an initial value should be assigned before the first use and access modifiers cannot be used for local variables final is the only non access modifier that can be applied to the local variables next is instance variables instance variables are declared in a class but outside a method constructor or any block when a space is allocated for an object in the heap a slot for each instance variable value is created so please note that objects are created in the heap memory instance variables are created when an object is created with the use of the keyword new and destroy when object is destroyed instance variables holds values that must be referenced by more than one method constructor or block or essential part of an objects state that must be present throughout the class the instance variables are visible for all methods constructors and block in the class normally it is recommended to make these variables private and instance variable have default values for number the default value is 0 for boolean it is false and for object reference it is null values can be assigned during the declaration or within the constructor 
instance variables can be accessed directly by calling the variable name inside the class. However, within static methods, when instance variables are given accessibility, then they should be called using the fully qualified name like this way object reference dot variable name. So this is all about instance variable. Third kind of variable is class static variables. Class variables also known as static variables are declared with the static keyword in a class but outside a method, constructor or a block. There would be only one copy of each class variable per class regardless of how many objects are created from it. Static variables are rarely used other than being declared as constants. Constants are variables that are declared as public, private, final and static. Constant variables never change from their initial value. Static variables are stored in the static memory. It is rare to use static variables other than declared final and used as either public or private constants. Static variables are created when the program starts and destroyed when the program stops. Visibility is similar to instance variable. However, most static variables are declared public since they must be available for users of the class. Default values are same as instance variables for numbers. The default value is 0, for booleans it is false and for object reference it is null. Static variables can be accessed by calling with the class name as class name dot variable name. When we declaring class variables as public static final then variable name or it's a constant also are all in uppercase. If the static variable are not public and final the naming syntax is same as instance and local variables. So this is about these three variables. Let's see one example to understand the kinds of variables in Java. First we can see variable name count is initialized with integer value 50 is instance variable which is declared inside the class but outside the method and it is not declared as static. Next one is number variable which is initialized with 100 and this variable is declared as static it cannot be local and the third one is local variable and the variable name is data which is declared inside the method. So this is all about Java variables. I hope you understand the basic concepts and hope you like this video. So thank you for watching and please subscribe my channel. Thank you.